Hello, welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, it's kind of an impromptu. It's Friday. I'm trying not to fall asleep in my chair. So, <laughs> so I will record and hopefully not fall asleep in my chair and try to make this as in focus as I can. Um, I finished The Romantic Country, so I'm in Ivy and Inky Butterfly for Color Ivy with us. Um, well, shoot, I threw away my paper. I'll figure it out. I'll put it in the description down below. Um, it's through Instagram. So, as you can see, I've been slowly working. Um, I did most of this watercolor background today. Um, but I kind of want to finish this page before I move on to this page. So, right now I've got luminance in my hand. Uh, I was working on the helmet here. I just finished the anchor. Um, and so I've got like the rug to finish the chair. Um, so I've got a lot of watercolor washes on here that I want to just finish up with um, some penciling. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do today and just kind of kind of impromptu color and chat. Keep me awake. <laughs> Just keep me awake. So this is the black luminance um, 009. I'm trying to get better about naming the colors I'm using. Um, I always name the materials I'm using in um, in the description down below and links where you can find it, etc. So that you can always find down below. Oh, let me get something to prop under here. Give me two seconds here. I'm going to pause and be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to, I got the Mermaids in Dreamland. It's almost a perfect match. And so I'm not like bending it down or it's not bouncing on me. So after the black, I'm going in with Steel Gray 004. Um, again with the luminance, I took, I just have a palette here that I made up of, of a whole bunch of different um, watercolor pans that I had from Jane Davenport and Prima and all sorts of stuff. So I made my own palette. These are double-sided sticky tape so they're, they're not going anywhere except for this one I just kind of stuck him in he's my he's my neutral tint by M. Graham um, so I just slid him in there so I've got a few more pans if I want to do something like that then I have my my sheet here that stays with it but I've just been taking this palette and water coloring with a water brush I've been playing with a few different water brushes. Um, I'm finding that my water brushes are fraying at the ends and it's really ticking me off. Um, I don't know what to do about it. The only ones that haven't started fraying on me are the Derwent, but I dislike how long the Derwent number one watercolor brush or water brush is. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. And then this is Silver Gray 002. Yeah, so I, I, I went and grabbed the Art Zaya. Arteza um, watercolor brushes. I saw Rebecca at the Art Spirits. And this is White 001. This is my baby. I haven't finished it off yet. It's my first Luminance pencil. I haven't finished it yet. I'm working on it though, obviously. I was watching uh, 
Rebecca over the art spirits. She got a whole bunch of Arteza or Arteza or I don't know how you say it. I'm just going to flip between these four. Samples and so she was testing those out and I like the look of them so I'm going to use black for the rivets here so I'm doing that I was using the Faber Castell and I really liked the Faber Castell one it was really good uh, but it started fraying so much so that I had to like chop off the tip and well, that kind of ruined it so that's probably my bad but I don't know if you guys will be able to see got a whole big box of where did I put it there it is so I don't know if you guys can see but I had to chop off the tip because it was so frayed And so now it's kind of flat. And I didn't want flat. I wanted a nice point to it. But it's still frayed. And it, it's fraying now after I cut it. So I don't like that. Is that the door went number one? No, that's the door went number three. But all of mine end up doing that. The zig detailer frays. I end up having to chop the end off of that. Um, here's my old Derwent one. See, it's rubbed off here. But I've not had... The only problem is, is it gets so dang wet. But I've not had to chop it off or anything. It's not frayed. So I don't know what brush, synthetic brush they use for this. But I like it. The, but the only problem is it gets dang wet. So. I don't know. I have all the issues. I have all the issues. All of them. Every single last one. <laughs> oh, well. I'm going to go and drop a little shadow here. With the black. Drop a shadow. Because the floor has been done for a while. But it was done back when I had my Pablos. Before I sold them. And I really, really, really used the Caran Full Blender on it. Like super hard. Um... So I don't know how well anything's going to actually like go over it. So we'll see. A little shadow here. A little shadow here. A little shadow here. Little shadow. Um Go black in the middle here. Let's see. I'm not even really gonna mess too much. There's just so much detail that you don't have to be super orient detail oriented. You can get away with a lot. And while I've got the black and silver in my hand, I'm going to come do um, this little camera here. I'm going to do his shadow. Yeah. 
and going with the steel or is this the steel or is that the silver no, this is the steel steel gray A little shadow here, a little shadow here. Hope everyone's doing all right. What are you working on? What books? Got anything exciting coming? Did anybody see the flip through of Phantomorphia? Oh my gosh. It almost doesn't look like Kirby's work. It's very weird. It's very... It almost worries me. Just how... I mean, some of it is just amazing. And it could be the, the angle of the pictures I was looking at was funky. and I mean, that's all a possibility. So, it was a very odd flip through. But I'm excited. I pre-ordered it. I know I said I was going to wait closer to release, but I went ahead and ordered it. I ordered, I got Nice Little Town. I'm going to have to do a flip through that. Nice Little Town 4. Um, so I've got that. Do I need anything else with the black silvers? Mm. Up here. This guy. So I, I got Nice Little Town 4. I ordered the Hanolin Princess. Um, which I'm really excited for. I also ordered um, the Rita Berman. The one like uh, under the look under the magnifying glass or under the something. I don't remember. But it's the earth one, not the sea one. So I really want the sea one too. Ordered that, ordered Phantomorphia, and ordered the Hannah Lynn book. So got those coming. Phantomorphia, I won't it hasn't changed. It still says the twenty seventh as the delivery date. Um, but I've heard rumblings from some people that it might be later because of demand, which is awesome. Hopefully that just means that uh, Kirby will do more. Though he's got another one coming out in October, I think. I've still got a whole bunch of whips to work on. So I finished up the Romantic Country. I really want to finish this. I still have the picture in Serene. Still have um, Bob, the dragon from Zelm Nova. Still have the villain sand poster. Uh, I think that's. Oh, and I still have the. Magical Delights picture. I'm debating whether or not to do a color along. But I worry. There's so many, like there's so many going on right now. That, you know, not that I would do one in March, but I'm just saying there's usually a lot going on. And I would hate... I would hate to have no participation at all other than myself. Try to get some highlights in there with that white. Um, just because the there's an oversaturation of color longs, you know? Um, but that being said, I'm 
open to suggestions. Get some of the stuff down here. It's a nice little ruler. I'm open to suggestions, as always. If you want me to do a color along, let me know. If not, let me know too. Just gotta say something. Silence doesn't cut it. I'm getting close to the um, 400 subscribers, which is amazing. Y'all rock. If you don't know that already, you do. And with the 400 subscribers will come a giveaway. My first true giveaway on this channel. I'm still thinking rules and such. But I'm going to try to make it open to everybody. But I may have to exclude Australia. And the only reason I would have to exclude Australia is the shipping costs are insane. I shipped the Pablos to Australia and I ate about $40 worth of shipping costs just because I had totally underestimated. I had estimated wrong and so I felt bad. I didn't want to put the burden solely on that person and so I ate, I ate a lot of shipping costs on that. And I don't want to do that because it was still 60 bucks. And I ate 40 of it. So, you know, what do you do? Let's see, I've got a few more things right down here. I want to, I want to do this guy and this guy. Because I've got that crate done. Let's see, I've got some blues and purples. Kind of a dusky blue, gray blue. So let's go with gray blue, 755 in the notes. Well, let's also grab this light cobalt blue, uh, 661. Oh, sweetie, we'll go to the beach this summer. Mommy. Yes, honey. Well, sweetie, it's got to get above 50 degrees. It's still too cold to go to the beach yet. We'll go to the beach when it gets warmer. Okay? It is. It's super warm. 50 degrees is not super warm. What are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> You're a crazy girl. She's looking a different color No, that's me. <laughs> See, look, that's me. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to blow my kid's mind here. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, it is me, huh? You're going to be in my video. What do you think about that? They can hear your voice when you talk. Your poor little voice. Scricky voice. <laughs> We're not painting today. Why? Because mommy put all the paint stuff away. Oh man, she's sick. I can't say no. All right, let me get her paint stuff. You really want to paint? What do you want to paint? I'm a pretty bird picture. A pretty bird picture? Yeah. 
I don't have a pretty bird picture to paint. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I got her set up with a little bit of a rainforest escape. Oh, I don't remember the artist's name. Got her set up, so she's all good to go. Let me grab my black again. Um, or Payne's Gray. Let's do Payne's Gray. Let's get a little bit of shadow in there. Oh, my my black shirt is really messing up the light source here. It's another kind of bleh day. It's not quite dreary, but sure as heck isn't sunny. And I'm cheating um, to keep warm. So this is Payne's Gray uh, 508. I'm cheating to keep warm. Um, by using a heating pad. I'm not actually like, and my back hurts a little bit, but it's not too bad. But I'm using, using the heating pad to kind of stay warm. Because I don't want to turn the heat up in the house. Because it's March. I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have the heat on. Um, last year around my birthday, which is coming up, what did my husband say, 17 days? What's today, the 9? Thirteen days. Oops. My birthday is coming up in thirteen days. So, a couple years ago on my birthday, it was like eighty degrees here. Um, back when we were looking to move down, we weren't weren't sure where we wanted to live, <laughs> so we just came and visited and looked around and. I had a real estate agent take us around and see if we could, you know, buy something while we were here. Um, but, and then last year, I'm trying to remember, last year I think it was warm. I may not have been in my capris yet, but I'm pretty sure it was warm. I did like a grayish, let's see, let's go with the French gray 10%, and that is 802, I need to sharpen it, and my sleeve keeps falling down. I really want to finish this page, this spread. Really do. I've been working on it. Oh, well, then move the paints closer, honey. She needs the paints closer, so I'm going to take the paints gray. For shadows. And I'm being way too nitpicky for as small space as this is, but that's just me. I keep thinking I want to do a color along where, you know, I give exactly what I'm using and we all color the same page and we all color it together, but I don't know. I don't know. Put those away. No, let well, me put them away, away, except for the paint gray. So if I don't... I will never remember where. I'm coloring the background. You're coloring the background. Oh, it'll be so pretty. It seems a little kind of a purpley, purpley color back in there. So let's see, violet gray, zero nine three. I don't know if you watched my uh, the Momo. Was it Momo girl? No. Oh, it was the Serene Bellaria, um, where I did 
violet gray in the face and the skin tone it was so good i loved that i think it was perfect paints gray i love how these pencils they just melt into each other i mean you can kind of get that effect in prismacolor and you can kind of tell that the, you know those kind of where they were going with it but man luminance just like took it to another level and they just melt together so well like this is this is what it looks like you know sometimes between video or picture and real life it's it's a bit different now with luminance that's what it looks like in real life, that that uh um oh I can't think of words today. Transition, maybe that's a good word. That transition of color. Let's see. I wanted to work. I need to get some gold. I'm actually just gonna get my gold. Um, Gel, no, that's my silver. Oh, did I lose my gold? Oh man, we may just have to go silver, guys. I may have lost my gold. Huh. That's okay. Yes, pumpkin pie. Oh yes, hold on. Let me let me zoom out. All right, she wants to show everybody her picture. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Good. You did do so good. I love the green teal color. Yeah. And there's is it the shiny that you used? You did use the metallic blue. That's so pretty. To make it so pretty. Yeah. I'm going to show you the bird bird. Oh, perfect. Here, go work on the birds. So it blends in. Yes. I'm going to have a house full of artists. <laughs> I'll make sure this works. There we go. Real quick, just boink. I'm going to plop some silver in. I wanted gold, but silver will do. Oh, let's just plop that out. We're not going to do gems, except for the... I did that one blue for some reason. So let's get... Let's get blue. Blue. I'm going to do... Genuine Cobalt Blue 662. And... Light blue, 161. I think those are good. I'll grab my white. So I'm going with the darkest, which is the genuine blue. Genuine cobalt. And one second, got a phone call. Okay, I completely lost what I was doing. What was I, I was doing? Waiting. Oh, you're waiting to give me the background. She wants to show background again. Oh, you're almost done with it. The background. Yeah, you're almost done with the background. <laughs> Don't jump, you're shaking my camera. You're just so bouncy, you shake my camera. Don't. Thank you. <laughs> All right, go finish. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was my mom calling. Can't can't not answer the mom call, right? All right. So Jim, yay! I think I might actually, even though I did this in teal, I may actually. Ooh, no, this one. And do the vase here. The vase. The vase. Oh, 
And this is kind of the same thing I did in Romantic Country. You go and you find multiple things to do the same kind of color scheme. Makes things go faster for one. And it kind of keeps some cohesion in the colors and the overall picture. Even though with like this, um, the cohesion is kind of shot because there's just so much stuff. So much. Let's see, let's do these feathers too. Even though I think the, the feathers I painted in a greener blue than this, but that's all right. It'll go over. So I do the underpainting, and that helps. One, it helps save your pencils, so you're not, you know, constantly having to sharpen and constantly going in. Let's see. Let's just go with this and do the blue here. Unlock on Nessie here, Nessie. I just it over my my poor little bluebird. My bluebird of sadness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It was terrible. I mean, it was a great learning experience. Uh, put me. <laughs> Man, was it bad. Uh, let's do the briefcase here. So that was a brown. Nice brownie brown. Let's see. Go with uh, raw umber, 50%. Uh, it's number 846. Let's do a little bit of let's see, is this uh, olive brown 10%, number 732. And then let's do a touch of sepia. Uh, CBF 50%, 906, and they all rolled away. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. I've not been seeing the ants go marching down. What are you talking about? Oh my goodness. My mom was asking, like, how far from my current house is the new house and it's only about 25 minutes away and it's just pretty much straight east yeah so there's a couple so you have the outer loop and then you have the inner loop so the outer loop is 540 the inner loop is 440 and literally I just hop on 540 and I go to the other side that's it um, but it's about 25 minutes but I'm closer to the beach, so there's that. I mean, right? Can't be all that bad if I'm closer to the beach. Taking that sepia 50%. Um, I may take some Payne's Gray and sharpen this. There we go. What time is it? Two o'clock. It is two p.m. and I could take a nap. <laughs> that that was the problem. Is I was just sitting here and I was just like, oh, I could just fall asleep. I didn't want to. I watched uh, Anne from A Colorful Life. I watched her. Uh, kind of coffee chat thing. I feel bad that uh, she felt she had to explain, but I understand. 
I mean, nobody's in nobody's in your head when you make a decision, you know? So, like, what is logic to you or what makes total sense to you may not make any lick of sense to somebody else because they're not in your head. Um, it was super nice that she chose to explain and go through and she did it very respectfully, I think. But um, as all of that, just really to say, if you have a question why I'm doing something, ask. Just ask. Um, if it's within me to be able to explain or I have an answer or um, you're wondering why I do something a certain way, no matter what it is, be it coloring or the way I run my YouTube channel, or whatever. If you have a question, just ask. And really, if you have any questions for me, feel free, always feel free to ask. Um, I try to answer pretty promptly. I do get notifications. Um, Sometimes I'm in the middle of something and I kind of, you know, you swipe it away and then you totally forget that you swiped something away. Um, but I do try to remember and it pops up on my computer too. So if I, I swipe it away on my phone, I'll see it on my computer later. Um, and even if I have to translate your question, I try to answer have to translate your comments because I am I am a single language person kind of want to go a little bit darker with these I was trying to decide what I wanted to do I landed on darker. So it'll, by darker, I mean the, uh, the sepia 50. And this sepia is so much browner than some of the other ones, like the um, polychromos. Their sepia is really, really blackish. Oh, that car scared me. A car out there just kind of swooped on by. I'm hoping the new neighborhood will have so many crazy drivers. I was telling my mom uh, when we went there for the inspection, no less than three cop cars. Um, it was around lunchtime, so I thought that was that was rather comforting, I think, that there were a lot of police cars, policemen living there. Let's see. Do do do. I don't want to go too crazy. There's a lot of stuff in here. I think I made a wild choice with that rug. That rug was a wild choice, let me tell you. I don't know what I was thinking. So this I kind of want to do the raw umber 50% I'm not closing my eyes is that a grape in your mouth yeah <laughs> that's so silly I can't believe all the people that had so much snow lately 
And even us down south, we've been somewhat affected just because we've had such cold weather. I don't like it. Don't. Don't like it. Can I, can I protest the cold? That's what's making me tired, though. I don't like the cold. It makes me tired and lethargic. And I don't like it. Just this truck slow rolling it down the street. Oh my goodness. So I was I was trying to go on my Roku TV. Um because we don't have cable. But we you know got Netflix. We stream Netflix. We have Plex, which my husband ripped all of our DVDs to. Um Then we have like Amazon Prime, so with the Prime comes Prime Video and all of that stuff. So we have we have a couple streaming services basically. Um, so I have a Roku TV and I want to go turn on Spotify. Um, which is if you don't know it's a it's a music streaming service. Um, and we have Spotify family, so I have it set up to where each of us can have basically our own Spotify login with no, uh, yet no ads and like unlimited yada yada yada. So I'm going to go turn on Spotify. <laughs> Sorry, we're unavailable at this time. Like, well, crap. So I go, I don't ever use Amazon Music other than on my phone. And even then, eh. Oh, I like how that turned out. I like that. Put this stuff back. Before I forget. All right. Uh, let's do the little shibangs here. Shibus. What's in your mouth now? A peeled grape? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go turn on Amazon Music and I had to go and do an authorization thing. Um, which I thought was weird because I thought I had already done that. But I suppose not. You see, I'm just going real quick. I'm not even, like, messing too much. Um, you know what? Let's just take the pains gray. Um, I thought I'd already done that. So I'm like, what the heck? So I go in... And I get it authorized. I go into Amazon and authorize the Roku again. Um, I go into it and it says, you have no music. Like, what do you mean I have no music? I thought, I thought I could, like, find music on there and just play a playlist, a pre predetermined playlist. Nope. You have to load your own music, your own playlists. I was just like, nope. Forget it. I'll go back to Pandora. I hate stuff like that. It drives me bonkers. See, I'm going to grab Barrel Green. I've never sharpened this, but what else? Barrel Green. So 
So I'm really getting tired of these streaming services. Let me just, just tell you. Because it's getting ridiculous. Everybody wants their own streaming service. Nobody wants to share. Nobody wants to... I don't understand why some, some of them don't just like group up. Because it would be so much better... If they would just group up. Let's see. Let's take the violet. You're turning violet, violet. 120. I can't help it. Every time. Every single time. I can't help it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure it's getting annoying. But if you're like me and you grew up with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, then maybe... That's stuck in your head, too. boo boo be doo Oh, boy. She's got something else in her mouth. wonder what it could be this time. What is it this time? It's another grape! A partially peeled grape! How did you do that? I see. It's, it's the mouth opening to your ears. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's so silly. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do kind of the glass effect here. So I'm just going to take... I'm going to take the light cobalt blue 661. Kind of just pull it in. Not being too picky. So there we go. Uh, let's do. This is going to be kind of tricky. Tricky, tricky. It's tricky. Because this was all done with Pablo's. And I don't remember the colors. I know it was like russet. And... So here's Burnt Sienna 069. Let's try brown ochre zero three seven. And let's try oh no. Brown mm -hmm. ochre ten percent eight three two. What's that? That's another grape. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> you did that. I did do that. So maybe dude is getting his desk refinished. Maybe this is a really old drawer. Maybe he's already had his desk refinished. And this is an old drawer that he kept for sentimental reasons. Right? That's what I'm going to go with. Because otherwise I have no excuse other than I foobarred and forgot to do this drawer before I sold my Pablo's. Which I wouldn't put it past me, but you know. Wow. That grape has two seeds, too. I'm rushing this, I know, and I shouldn't. I should calm down. There's no rush. There's no rush. I don't have to hurry. There's nowhere I gotta be yet. No need to rush. Hey, that matches kinda. Look at me. I need a yellower. It's an ochre. Yellow ochre. Yellow ochre zero three four. There we go. That's just the kick it needed. Just the kick it needed.
So then I'm going to take, after I sharpen it, this is my full blender sharpener. I don't care if it's dull. Go in and blend that out. What do you know? It matches. Hot diggity dog. Oh no, what's in her mouth now? <laughs> you chipmunk. <laughs> uh, she's got two. She's got grapes in both of them. <laughs> Be careful. I don't want you to choke on that. <laughs> she could, there, you're a chipmunk now, storing food in your cheeks. <laughs> Oh, that kid. She cracks me up. Cracks me up, I tell you. I'm going to ignore all the fancy pants stuff. Because reasons. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you make me laugh. I like that you make me laugh. Oh, and if I do this, my voice is a little not shrouty. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. And my throat makes it shrouty when I do this. Uh-huh. Uh. But I can't. She's still talking to herself. Oh my goodness. So my husband was telling me he's got a co-worker. She sits behind him. And uh, I guess they have the new... She's selling her house and buying a new one. And I guess they have the new home buyers from hell. Um, I guess the new home buyers... They're like requesting that. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh no. Oh, pick it up. Throw it away. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it fall out of your mouth. My bad. Oopsie. Don't. Don't do that, mommy. Um. But they, they want the sellers, my husband's coworker, to paint the entire house in the colors of the new buyer's choice. Whole house. Paint them in the colors we want. Can you imagine? Can you imagine asking for something like that? They said no. They were like, I'll give you a thousand dollars. But they, they keep offering like, oh well, you know, no, I'm not going to do that. Here's Here's money. I would have just been like, no. You want to find somebody that's going to do that? You can go somewhere else. Do it your damn, damn self. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint my own house. I'm not going to ask the sellers to paint the house. Who does that? So in the sellers, I guess I am not even, oh man. Look at me. That's horrible. Shame. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. I was so busy laughing at my daughter. I didn't even notice. Shame on me. Anyway. But like the, the people we bought the house from when we went into the inspection, we noticed that the whole house had been repainted. Um, which is okay, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure why we had already, you know, bought the house. 
we'd already put in an offer, you know, it wasn't con the offer wasn't contingent on them painting the house. Um, but it ended up working out pretty good because I kind of like the color they chose. So that's nice. It's a nice neutral color so I can have my pops of wall color that I want. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh oh. Chipmunk. <laughs> Is that how chipmunks laugh? I actually don't know how to speak. I don't know how chipmunks speak either. It's because we never went to the zoo again. We've gone to the zoo plenty of times. No. Chipmunk. Uh, since you've been alive, we've gone to the zoo three times. When we go back? Maybe this summer we'll go back. We always go to the Columbus Zoo when we go visit in the summer. When we go up to Ohio in the summer, we go to the Columbus Zoo. We go eat at this really awesome German restaurant in downtown Columbus. It's been on a show and now I can't remember what it's called. <sighs> My husband would kill me. It's a really good German place. Don't tell my husband I don't remember. He would. He would kill me. He'd be like, what? That's my favorite place. It's because they have a buffet of brats. Bratwurst Buffet begins with an S. I can see the place. It's on a cobblestone drive. You have to like wind your way back into this neighborhood. It's a really affluent neighborhood. And you have to find some place to park because there's no parking at the place. So most of the time you're parking in front of somebody's house. Oop, knocked it with my head. Sorry. Gosh, what is it called? Schmitz? Schmitz. Schmitz. Schmitz is the name of the place. Yay! It's really good. It's all you can eat bratwurst buffet, and they have these Bavarian cream, not Bavarian cream, they have cream puffs that are the size of a freaking plate. They're ridiculous. Every time we go, every summer when we go to Ohio, we go to the Columbus Zoo. And because we're in Columbus, we go to Schmitz. And good time is had by all. We get our workout walk in the walk in the zoo. And we go and stuff ourselves at a German German restaurant. I think it was man versus food. It was featured. Schmitz was fe featured. I have the Bahama Mama. One of their sausages. It's uh, spicy. Spicy. Oh, speaking of food, I'm making um, pepper steak tonight. Pepper steak with squash. And for some reason, well, there's nothing in your cheeks now. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Your cheeks are just so big anymore. I see it. Is it on the other side too? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, that's what confused me. It was only on one side. You're only half a chipmunk now.
crap, what was I saying? Oh, I'm making pepper steak with squash. I'm finding a flank steak is a little difficult. You're so funny. That's enough, okay? Thank you. I don't know why I couldn't find a flank steak. But it took a... I had to go to, like... Go to Harris Teeter. I don't like going to Harris Teeter. They're expensive. Oh, and they're putting up a Publix near here. But I won't be here by the time it gets built. There's a Publix near where I'm moving. There's also an Aldi's. I love Aldi's. Aldi's meat. Really good. Alright, so that's that chair. Let's see. Let's do the, there's a little chest up here. I'm going to use these same colors. Kind of. I'm going to knock off those two. Well, I'm going to take the paint gray. But I took off the burnt sienna. I'm so excited to have an Aldi's. Y'all don't even know. Aldi's is good food. Been doing pretty good with my meal preps. Couldn't find any snow peas. I don't know if they're out of season, maybe? I don't know. I couldn't find any snow peas, which is kind of sad. But I just, I'm going to just use green beans. Because it's kind of like a stir fry, but not. I should probably check my recipe. Watch, I bet I had to like slow cook this thing and it's 2.30. I guess I could put it in my time machine. Which is kind of like an Instapot. The time machine. So I'm going to leave off the Payne's Gray for the lid. Do you guys ever, when you're coloring with your hand a little further back, do you ever feel like the whole like pencil bends? I don't know. I always have to check and see if my lead has broke because it just feels that way. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. I mean, that's a distinct possibility that I probably shouldn't rule out. Uh, just, you know, you're so crazy. This little, it's right there. It feels, feels like the whole pencil's wiggling. There's that. Let's go ahead and get our silver gel pen. Just do that. I will say one thing about the luminance. Thank God there are no metallic colors. I really, I don't like metallic pencils to an extent. I don't think any metallic pencil has ever worked properly, in my opinion. So I just don't like them. Let's see. Um, I gotta let that dry so let's come down a little bit. Let's work on the stuff in here. So I've got an egg. So, oh, no, I wanna keep this. So I'm gonna keep the color combo that I did here, 
because I'm, I'm also going to take the color of this desk and put it on the other side. So I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to put that in my pencil body. Um, so I've got an egg. So let me get a gray. Let's see. Let's see. That's steel. Why am I not picking out the right gray? That is a fully peeled grape. Look at you. Payne's gray, 30. Taken. Put a little shadow. A little shadow on that eggy. Oh, maybe it was supposed to be a Fabergé egg, and I totally screwed it. Oh, well, I've got these two panes gray. I think that would be really good for mousy up here. Let's do mousy. Mousy. I keep flipping back and forth on whether or not I'm going to say yes to a dog. I want a cat. I don't, don't necessarily want a dog. I'm going to have a hard enough time with cat hair as it is. Let's see. Let's see. What color do I want to do? Let's just pick something. Uh, russet. I didn't know I had russet. That have made a difference. Maybe. I'm going to stick that in with the other ones. Take my white. And this, doing doing this where it's just a single color plus your white keeps you from having to pull 16 different colors just to shade this little thing. So let's see. Let's do pink. Hot pink. Uh, purplish red. 350. I like that. I like it. Then let's do Payne's Gray Lid. Nice. Maybe it's a magnifying glass, but I didn't leave it as glass. Ooh, ooh. You know what I can do? I can make it look like glass. Can I can or better than I did up here? That's for sure. There you go. It's class. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, let's do. Let's do for the coffee cup. Let's do Prussian blue one five nine. I like Prussian blue. It's pretty blue. Pretty, pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty and witty and wise. Um, let's just do paints gray. We're just going to go. What is in your Pokemon ball? Money. You should put your pennies away. Please. This is, this is a good place. No, your bank, your piggy bank is a good place. A Pokemon ball is not a good place. Why? Because it's not. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness, the perilinine brown. He doesn't want a red succulent, right? Are you okay? Yeah. Don't hurt yourself.
Aww. Are you going to be okay? Violet. You're turning violet, Violet. She'll be okay, everybody. How's your hummingbirds coming? So, let's go down here. Nice turquoise blue. Let's use turquoise blue. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. My bad. 171. I was trying to click off something else and accidentally. Oh, let's just do the whole thing. Can you tell the difference between the two? One had a watercolor under and one didn't. Let's do some paint brushes. We need the brown, which is our sepia. That's a good point. Let's see. All right. Get a little more. More shadow. Let's rock that shadow game. I like rocking the shadows. I think it works out nice. So let's go with brown ochre 50 that I've never sharpened. Yay! Oh, that's a really good letter color, paper color. I like it. I do. I like it. Let's see, let's see, that was a nice bright green right there. Let's take spring greens, 470. There you go. Oh, let's also grab grass green, 220. Let's go ahead and do this nice pretty feather here. Anyway, I'm excited for dinner tonight. My husband texts me. He's like, oh, you want to go to Noodles and Company since the girls have been asking? I'm like, oh, but I already put out meat. to thaw Then we're going to go out. We have to go run and, like, we're just going to, like, price stuff out. So we're just going to be running around to stores tomorrow. I just remembered I'm supposed to play a mouse. You just remembered. So we don't have to wait, okay? Fine. Because I want to know Am I at my computer right now? Am I at my computer right now? Uh, oh, that was a neon. That's orange, 030. And golden bismuth yellow, 820. Gosh, that looks like neon. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, we're going to be out running around all day tomorrow. 
which means we'll most likely end up eating out somewhere. So I didn't want to eat out tonight and then eat out tomorrow. I'm actually trying to lose some weight. It's not actually going that well, but you know. Let's see, purplish red and anthraquinoid pink. I really need to get better about um, logging my food intake. Because that really, I mean, if I'm going to start doing something, that that's a big step. Because I could work out until I'm blue in the face, but if I don't manage my food intake, then it's off or not, you know? You can't just expect stuff to fix itself. Let's see. Key, we're going to do silver. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Let's see. There's some stuff back here. That's a bright, bright yellow. This is lemon yellow 240. I made shrimp scampi last night. It's the first time I ever had scampi. That was pretty good. I'm going to take my cornelian 850. I'm going to assume these are. Um, Amoeba or something. That's what I'm assuming. Amoeba. That's what they look like, right? They look like amoeba. They look amoebic. Take my Payne's Gray. Do it over here. Actually, I'll take a light blue. Maybe. Ugh. Like cobalt blue. There we go. Take my Payne's Gray 30. I don't need to like be hyper accurate, even though it tends to be where I go with things. I'm trying to be better about that. Let's see. Get out of there. It's a dark sap green. There's a, there's a little thing in here. There. I like that. It's a thing here. Let's go over to our polys. Polly, 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 Polly. Take purple violet. Let's see. Let's green gold. Not trying to be too fancy here. Let's do 
Now let's put Mortem Violet. Uh, light cobalt turquoise. Even though it looks like poop, I'm not coloring it like poop. I hate those poop emojis. Let me just tell you, if you have a kid, a girl, and you walk into justice, those stupid poop emojis and unicorns are everywhere. And my oldest is just like, what? What is this? I said, it's poop. She goes, why would people buy poop? I said, I don't know. Let me sharpen that light purple piece. That was my hand crank. My hand crank gets me some nice points. Just, just tell you. If you ever want a super, super pointy pencil, hand cranks are where it's at. That cheap trim tape is in a mic. Purse. Purse. See warm gray. Oh. And Payne's gray. Warm gray five and Payne's gray. So you assume the light source is up here. That's in shadow. I will say the only bad thing about having such pointy pencils is it takes a little bit more effort to get even coverage without getting pencil lines because you actually have to get like a flat edge. You can't just constantly turn your pencil. That would be the only disadvantage to having super pointy pencils, in my opinion. Now, some people may not just like, may just not like pointy pencils. And if you're not a pointy pencil fan, then so be it. You don't have to be. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm getting so much done, y'all. I should do this more often. Do, 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 do. Babushkas? What are those called? The nesting dolls. Babushka dolls? Let me know. I know they're called nesting dolls. Crimson Elysian Hue 589. But I don't remember. For some reason, Babushka is stuck in my head. And it could be very wrong, and I'm very sorry if um, that offends anybody. Not my intention. It's just the word that's stuck in my head at the moment regarding these. I used to have them. My aunt bought a set for my then, at the time, three-year-old. I told her I can't can't take these. She will destroy them because it was Zoe and you know to this day Zoe is destructive and she goes that's fine. Just give them to her. I said are you sure? She will destroy them. No she won't. Okay. She came back what was it? Almost a year later, she goes, what happened to those dolls? I said, I told you. She destroyed them. I found pieces of the 
dolls everywhere. She like stepped on them or something. I have no idea. Kid's crazy. Can't trust her with hardly anything. I'm trying to find a good blue to match. Ooh. Ooh, she says. Uh, Thalo sign nine blue one six two. I didn't quite match. My ooh was preemptive. I should have known. I was lulled into a false sense of security by this really nice color. Um, yeah. Anyway, anywho. You know what I mean? I'm almost at 400 subscribers. Yay! And at 400, I will be doing a giveaway. Double yay! And... I can't tell you what it is. Boo. Sharpening. The sharpener is attached to my desk, so I'm sorry if it shakes. Because the camera is also attached to my desk. And so, one shaky, the other shaky. I'm trying to do a gold. Let's get raw umber. Sharpening. such a small area. You know. Again, I'm trying to be too fancy. Trying to be Miss Fancy Pants over here. I don't need to be this fancy. Oh, so that was brown, raw umber. Um, got light yellowish yellow ochre and Naples yellow. Which is pretty much my go-to gold for polychromos. Polychromos, I have um, quite a bit of the colors memorized and it's kind of my, I guess it's kind of like my gold standard of pencils. Like I compare just about everything else to them. Um, so when I think of a yellow ochre, I think of this color. When I think of um, uh, the raw umber, I think of this color. So when other pencils don't quite match up, like I get very lost. Um, and the luminance has been barely okay. There's a couple of colors where I'm just like, I don't understand what you're doing or why you did it this way. It doesn't make any sense. But, what else? But does anybody else do that? Does anybody have like a pencil set that they compare all other pencils to? I'd be curious to know what yours is. said mine's polychromos. I compare everything to it. Prismas, luminance, everything. Everything gets compared to my polychromos. Um, and I had the Pablos, but like I said, I sold them because they just weren't, they just weren't doing how I wanted it to. So that, that guy right there, that cutie pie, little succulent, little cutie succulent. Ouch. That's the other part. Went careful with your sharp pencils. Uh, cobalt blue greenish. 
which I need to use more of because it's a gorgeous color. So pretty. I love this color so much. So much. I get my light phthalo. Shaky. So I'm going to go in with the white. I want to get another blue in there. There we go. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I've, I've not actually seen anybody do this, but it's in my head as something people do. Um, green, pine green, sharpening. When you go to sit down to color, do you sharpen as you go like I'm doing right now? Um, or do you sharpen everything first and then just go color? Do you find that sharpening gets in the way of maybe your creativity, I guess? Or do you feel like it hinders you in some way? Olive green yellowish. Because for some reason in my head, I have it in my head that maybe I should sharpen before I sit down at a page. Like I said, I don't think I've heard of anybody doing that. Um, but I could be wrong. Maybe I heard it somewhere and that's why it's stuck in my head. Uh, sharpen. But here's the thing. I mean, I would sharpen before I stream or video or anything, but I don't know what colors I'm going to use. I seriously don't. Um, so how can I... Yes, pumpkin. No, honey. I said no. That's not proper behavior, honey. Did you eat your lunch? If you didn't finish your lunch, you can't have a snack. Those are the rules, and you know them. Oh, let me go look at her plate. I'll be right back. All right, snacks obtained. Oh, I need a little pinky color here. Daddy pink, Pompeii and red. Yeah, so I don't know. Because sometimes I'm watching a video and I'm just like, are they ever going to sharpen a pencil? Don't they ever have to sharpen a pencil? Why aren't they sharp? <laughs> and I'm, I'm wondering, I'm like, well, shoot, do they pre-sharpen? You know? Let's see, I'm going over some nougat. I'm not sharpening because it's already sharp from the last time I used it. Um, but I'm just curious, like, does anybody do that? I mean, pre-sharpen, how do you know, how you know what you need to sharpen? How do you know what colors you're going to use? Like, some pic pictures, I can pick out a group of colors, and I know those are the pi the colors I'm going to use, but, like, this one, there's no, there's no way in hell. <laughs> no way. In heck. my baby, my baby, cold gray too. A little shadow to that. Oh. My back is starting to hurt. Let's see, I've got some.
pictures back here. The sunshine. Beautiful sunshine. What happened here? Um, bismuth yellow. I'm also somebody who really likes sharp pencils. And I don't... I don't have problem sharpening. Uh, not that some people have problems sharpening, but they're a little more um, use conscious, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. They're just more conscious of the usage of their items than maybe I am, um, which is fine. Everybody, everybody does stuff different. Let's see, I'm looking for a good blue. Let's go with sky blue, but I sky blue and the polys, but I need to sharpen it. Oh, that's all right. I was at a poor angle and ended up snapping the tip. It's okay though. I feel like I should do a different border color. Because it's a sunny, happy day. Who's just going to go with purple violet? Because apparently I can't stop grabbing this pencil. I need to I need to clean the washing machine. It's getting that moldy smell. I used to know how to I I knew what to use with the front load washers. That was my old washing machine. Now with the top load, I don't know what to use to clean it. Going back in with the thalo blue or light thalo. So like I don't know. What do you? Uh, ultramarine. And let's do red violet. Red violet. Oh, it's not in. Not in camera, Melissa. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is 311. I'm going to keep going until I have to stop to get my daughter. Because I'm motivated. Motivated. Let's finish up the the desk. What say you? I'm gonna take my silver and do the dots. Do, 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 dot, dot. My husband has been using a CAD like program um, to map out the desk he wants to build for me. I'm so stinking excited, y'all. I just can't even tell you. Because it'll be a huge desk. One side will be like really, really long or wide, um, and that'll be my art side. It'll be an L. So this side, well, technically it'll be like this in the room. So this side will be my computer area, and then this side, which will be very deep, will be my art area. 
Then he's going to build shelving. So that way I can like prop this up above instead of having it come up and over. Um, and then I won't bump it, which should be nicer. I might be able to use a different um, thing to hold it. I don't know. This has been pretty good, I have to say. I've oh, still got the rug to do. I still have this part. Let's just go and do you in silver. There you go. Ta-da! Well, let's do you in silver too. While I'm here. Do you and silver, silver and gold, Yukon Cornelius. I finished watching Luke Cage. I have finished Daredevil. I have finished Iron Fist. I finished Jessica Jones a long time ago. The first season, not the second season that just came out. But in order to watch Jessica Jones the second season, I have to watch Jess I have to watch The Defenders, which I plan on watching tonight. And hopefully not binge too bad on it. I'm just taking my pains gray. So I'm kind of excited to, to get into that. And then I want to get into Jessica Jones Season 2. So when I watched Season 1, I was absolutely blown away by seeing an evil David Tennant. I'm sure there's been other evil David Tennants, um, but that was the first time I had seen one since I'd watched him um, be the doctor, the 10th doctor on Doctor Who. So, like, I couldn't reconcile in my mind <laughs> Dr. David Tennant and evil David Tennant. Like, for some reason, that was just like, my mind was just like, no, it can't be. He's being framed. Or, like, I kept coming up with, like, no, there's something going on. He's not evil, there's no way, you know, but God, did he play such a good evil character. Like, he did it really well. Well, like, the dude was good. He was pure flipping evil, but, like, David Tennant played him really well. Um, I went on, I'm excited to see the new Doctor. I've got to finish watching all of uh, 12, though. Peter Capaldi. He turned out to be a much better doctor than I thought he would be at first. But isn't that always the case, though? Especially with Doctor Who, because I don't know any, any other series where they change out the main character who plays them so often. But isn't that always the case, though? The doctor always ends up being so much better than you thought it would be. Grab my Thalo. I always find that to be the case. I didn't think I would like Matt Smith, and then he grew on me, and I didn't think I would like Peter Capaldi, and he grew on me. Oh, so I'm sure the new one will, too. And I'm so bad I don't remember her name. But I tell you what, I don't care it's a she. Like, that doesn't bother me at all. At flipping all. The fact that it does bother some people 
bothers me, I guess. But like it shouldn't. It shouldn't bother anybody. It is what it is. It's a TV show for crying out loud. I mean, it's got a following. It's got a cult following. But like, it's a TV show. I don't like what they did with Firefly, but not necessarily what Joss did, but I don't like what Fox did. They, they're the ones that, never mind. Ah, deep breath. Don't go into Firefly. Don't go into Firefly. So my kids' names are Kaylee and Zoe. Just going to throw that out there. If anybody's ever caught on. And I can't believe how fate worked out that Zoe has curly hair. Like a leaf on the wind. All right. I am jamming. We be jamming. We be jamming. So, I've got to do that little bit right there. Just grab my nougat. Do that. Do Payne's Gray. And do some silver dots. I'm gonna have to find my gold. I don't know where my gold went. That's a bug in me. I wonder if one of my kids took it. Grr. Um, I think the only thing on this page I have left is the clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock goes the clock. So, let's do let's actually do I don't know what I want to do. Oh, let's do chromium green opaque for the leaves. Let's do nougat. the darker parts and raw umber for the lighter with a touch of brown ochre. Right, 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 right. Okay, so. Gonna take my green, which is the chromium green opaque. So this is similar to the one on the other page, but not exact. Kind of like a tip of the hat, an homage. If you will. Let's do a little green in here. I'll tell you what though, this paper takes water like a flippin' champ. It is amazing how much water this page has taken and no bleed through. 
I poured it on on the other page and nothing on the other side. It's amazing. I can't believe it. So if anybody's wondering, yes, this paper takes water. Much better than any of the other Joanna Batchford books. Like if any of the other ones took water like this, that would be like a game changer. I'd want to color them. But a lot of the ones I have don't and the water like pills, not pills, it puddles. And I don't like that. So this is the nougat, the dark color. Oh, I'm in the zone. You ever get in the zone and you're just like, everything melts away? And then you have to bring yourself back to reality. I think that's a good, it's a good thing that everything melts away and you get in the zone. And It's kind of the point though, isn't it? Of coloring. To just get in there and do it and not worry and not think and not fret not compare yourself to the Joneses and all of that you just take it and run go with it enjoy it Love what you do. I'm going to go in here. I could have pulled back out my ergo sauce, I suppose. It's all right. And even with all of the water I've put on it, the pages are still fairly flat. And I haven't gone in to um, iron them yet. You okay, pumpkin? Coughed. She's not answering me. She's busy watching a YouTube video finally. She didn't finish her painting to show you guys. I'm sorry. Maybe next time. She just wanted to show everyone. You okay, sweetie? drop. It's all right. I'm almost done here. Almost done. How many people have cuckoo clocks in their house? I couldn't imagine having a cuckoo clock. That would drive me bonkers. All the ticking and cuckooing. See, this is raw umber. I can't stand a ticking clock. Cannot flipping stand it. 
drives me bonkers. We don't have a single digital or analog clock in this house. Which is probably a bad thing, but because then how do you learn how to tell time? Right? Wrong. You can still tell time. I'm not very good at it though. Because when I was in school, um, apparently they were doing a kind of study type thing and my class was the guinea pig. Um, and uh, they were, they taught us digital, how to read a digital clock first because they figured everything would turn digital. Like that was in the 80s, like everything was on its way to be digital and analog would be gone and nobody would need to to know anything. Computers were going to take over, you know, the whole shebang. And so they were testing to uh, see how well we took on to it or I don't know. But the end result is that I I can read an analog clock. However, by the time I am able to actually read it and tell you what time it is, you could have glanced and looked at it yourself or found a clock or something. Like I'm I'm really bad at it. I have to sit and count and I have to really think about it and I couldn't tell you like, oh, it's a quarter till. No. It would be a quarter till is forty five. So I'd I'd be like, Oh, it's you know, it's three forty five. I couldn't tell you it was a quarter till four. I can only say it now because I thought about it. And my mom was like, I hated that. She was like, your your class was always the guinea pig. And they always did all the, the testing on you guys. And she's like, I hated it. Because I've had, I've had really, real issues with math. and such so my mom blames the government because I was a military kid oh I got a new subscriber welcome Andrea enjoy your stay I've had a few people comment that they're they're learning stuff from me, which I think is awesome. I think it's so awesome. May not always I may not always be correct, but if somebody can like if something clicks, that's the thing though, is um sometimes all you need is somebody to have it click for you. And I've had to watch several YouTube videos of different people like explaining a technique or going over how they do something. And then one just kind of clicks. And you're like, oh, that's what that is. Or that's how you do that. Or that, you know, that's how you choose this color. You know, something like that it just kind of clicks for you. Um. I was talking to May one day in, in a messenger and I'm just, you know, going, oh, I don't know how to pick colors and I had my color wheel out and I was like, well, these two kind of match and she was just like, put that down. <laughs> pick a color you like and pick colors you like and just go with it. And that, for some reason, I don't know 
why, but that was like my aha moment, kind of. And since then, I've not had any real... I mean, I, you know, you still get stuck like, oh, what, what color scheme do I want to go? Or what color do I want to color this? Like, you still get that. Like, I don't get the staring at a page going, I've got all these colors in my head and I don't know where to put them. Okay, I have a better idea of what I want to do with my colors. So, and um, I'm going to blame May for that. So, thank you, May. Thank you, May May. Just taking my brown ochre and just giving a light once over here. Take my Payne's Gray. You gotta have a blue bird of happiness. See cobalt blue. Blue bird of happiness. I'll take my pain's gray. There we go. Let's zoom out here. Oh, that sun is a shining, isn't it? Look at that. Let me. There we go. Oh, I pushed my chair too far away. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure this page is done. I'm, I think. Oh. Ah. No, the rug, the rug. Let's do the rug. Let's do it, do it, do it. That was a beige, so French gray. So let's do French gray 30, French gray 10, with a hint of the big, big daddy French gray. One second. Excellent. I got added to the do not call list. So happy. So taking the French gray. Zoe, if you would like to talk to me, you come here, please. Try and get her out of the habit of yelling for me. Yes, pumpkin. I love you. I love you. No, I don't want you to trip and fall, but you will need to get shoes on. Oh, so that means she'll never trip and fall. Just because it doesn't happen one time doesn't mean it will never happen. Oh, I just want this done. <laughs> I just want this done. This is the 30%. Why what, honey? Why do you want that done? Because I've been working on it for, gosh, months. No. You were not. On and off, I've been working on it for months. On and off, I have been working on it for months. Oh my goodness, what was I going to say? I, I had something in my head. No, I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Let's go back to the Big Daddy French Gray. Let's 
Oh, I checked the pepper steak recipe. I did not need to put it in a crock pot, so yay. I do have to make a sauce with cornstarch. I always find that hard. I don't know why. Oh, yay. She's going to be noisy now. She must be feeling better. I don't know why I find cornstarch uh, sauces to be so difficult. So I'm going in with the French Grey 10 now. 10% by the by. It makes such a weird consistency. Like I like it for Salisbury steak and um, beef stroganoff using cornstarch to make a, a sauce. It just has such an odd texture to it. It's very smooth. Unlike gravy when, when you make it with a flour. It's so different to me. Oh, all these triangles. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I might just leave them as is. Kind of regret the green, but what do you do now? And was I talking about colors? And your aha moment. So have you had an aha moment where something you had been like trying and it just wasn't clicking and then some something triggered it and something said, you know what? And your brain was like, I got this. I love those moments. They're so... Sometimes you recognize them for what they are. And sometimes you like think back and go, Huh, I wonder... I don't remember that clicking. I wonder how that, that clicked for me. And then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always fascinated by things like that. I'm going to take the French Grey Big Daddy and just do some circles here. And it really doesn't look like there's any shadow under there, does it? There should be. It's supposed to be shadowy under a desk, right? It's supposed to be shadowy under a desk. Yes, so, so. So we can go get Kaylee from the bus stop. Not right this minute. But you're slow to put on shoes, so I figure if I start telling you to put them on now, hopefully by the time we have to go, you will have them on. You are a big enough girl that you can put on your own shoes. Oh, we got company. I told you you should put on shoes. One second, guys. Oh, neighbor kid. They're moving sometime this month, I think. I wouldn't know. Can't tell if they're packing up or not. Couldn't imagine trying to move four kids. I'm going to have a hard enough time moving two. I have to go through a whole bunch of stuff in the playroom and 
we'll either have a yard sale or I'll just donate it. I'm lazy. Let's see. I should have a yard sale. But I'm lazy. And it doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> Maybe I could have a yard sale at the new place. One weekend we just set up and have a yard sale. What can I do? Oh, let's get let's get the olive yellow zero one five. That doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. All right, I'm just gonna leave it then. No fussing, no fuss, no muss. There we go. Now this side is complete. Yay! I'm going to date it. Um, so I know what day I got this side done. Like, let's do it under here. So, 3918. And then I will date this one when it's done. Which will hopefully be soonish. So, thanks for joining me. Hope you had a blast. Please like, please subscribe, hit the bell. Next is the uh, subscribe button if you wish to get notifications on when I live stream, when I upload a new video, anything like that. Uh, we're close to 400. At 400 subscriptions, we will do a giveaway. A surprise giveaway though. I'm not gonna tell you till the giveaway video. Okay? So we have to get there. So tell your friends, tell your friends friends. And I will see you later. Bye bye.